Welcome back. Now, he made his name by adorning Trafalgar Square's fourth plinth with an outside ship, outside ship in a bottle. Yinka Shonibari's replica of HMS Victory had sails printed in African textile designs. An exploration, he said, of the legacy of the British Empire. Now he's taking the theme further afield. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane, has been to meet him at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. He's a British Nigerian artist whose mischievous approach to subjects like globalization, empire, and Britain's post colonial legacy earned him a nomination for the Turner Prize. But now Yinka Shonibare is opening his biggest ever UK show, far away from obvious associations with empire and post colonialism, here at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. The exhibition includes two fiberglass wind sculptures inspired by the patterns of a batik fabric which is Indonesian in origin but manufactured in Holland for the African market. Something which allows the artist to play around with notions of cultural purity. A message he doesn't think is lost in rural Yorkshire. Yorkshire is part of Britain, you know, and the whole uh, story of Britain and empire is based on um, the history you know, of colonialism, you know, so it's actually here. Maybe you can't see it, obviously, but it's in the buildings, it's in the, you know, in the, in the wealth generated by families, you know, over generations. Inside the galleries is much more of the artist's signature batik. For example, in the costumes worn by the Revolution kids. Stuffed foxes holding blackberries and replicas of Colonel Gaddafi's golden gun and inspired by the London riots and the Arab Spring. Why did you choose the figure of the fox? Because the, the fox means different things to different people, doesn't it? Well, the, the fox is also right at the centre of class war in this country. Um, you know, the whole issue around fox hunting. And then, isn't it interesting if the fox actually turns around and then bites, you know, with a gun? You know, I couldn't think of a better form of rebellion than that. This sense of rebellion runs through much of the show and is a key element in Yinka Shonibare's identity as an artist. He describes himself as anti-establishment, yet accepted an MBE in 2005. I'm the, I'm the sort of rebel within. You know, I don't, want to be, I don't want to be on the outside screaming. You know, I want to be inside causing mayhem. Causing mayhem at the centre of the exhibition is this series of flying machines operated by aliens. Alien to me, kind of, I guess it's about science fiction. It's also the um, illegal immigrant. Whenever you've got any kind of economic crisis, the alien is the, the one that has to deal with, you know, all the blame and everything, you know, coming over here, taking our jobs. And all that. And how about the flying machines? Would it be too simplistic for me to read into the work a response to your physical disability? I think art has been my vehicle for flight from all of those difficulties. You talk about, you know, the physical disability. Um, I find that it's actually been almost like my escape key. So it's allowed you to fly away from these difficulties? Yeah, absolutely. Matthew Kane reporting. The weather's next with Liam Dutton, and do tweet us both. Until tomorrow at 6.40, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.